Hello everybody, my name is Mike Guy, and in this video we are going to look at timing our game loop using Allegro 5. So what we have before us is uh, some standard code, nothing should look too surprising here. Uh, what I do have is I have the headers uh, to use a font, I have uh, the width and the height which is pretty much the same, uh, I have our done variable, uh, down here I'm initializing our font add-ons, I'm creating just a basic font, um, and then inside our while loop, our game loop, all we're doing is flipping this, flipping and clearing the, the display. So nothing really out of the ordinary, nothing really crazy here. What I want to do in this video uh, first is I want to show you kind of what's happening behind the scenes uh, with, an, with what we've been working with so far. Kind of show you how quickly our games are running here, or our programs are running here. So what I want to do is I'm going to create a variable up here. Uh, and I'm just going to create a variable called count equals zero. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, uh, ramp up and just show you just how many frames are going by, how quickly uh, this this uh, this program is going. Uh, now this is going to be different on everyone's computer. My computer is going to run at a different speed than yours. Um, but keep in mind that it's, uh, an, an industry standard for games is to try to hit the 60 frames per second mark. You generally don't want to go too much faster than that or, or, or too much slower than that. So I've created this count here, uh, and then I'm just going to come down here to our game loop, and inside I'm just going to increment it. Uh, there we go. Um, and the reason I installed all of this font uh, uh, code is so that I can output to the screen, because because knowing the, the the count doesn't do me much good if I can't see it in real time. So uh, I am using my uh, my font font 18. And map the color here, we're just going to do white. And we'll put this right in the center of the screen. Center it. So, center, European spelling. Um, and then what I just wanted to say is notice I'm using the, the text F. You should remember this from our, our text video. That's it. So real basic here. All I'm doing is I'm incrementing count every frame, um, and I am am just outputting it to the screen. Now what you should note is that you know if I was running 60 frames per second, after about five seconds I should have you know 300 frames. Um, granted, this window is going to pop up off screen, so we're not going to get a, a true test. It's not like you're going to be able to sit at home and count, uh, but you'll get a, a really quick idea here. So uh, allow me to run this here. And look at that. By the time I can bring the window over, which was maybe a second, uh, we were already in the 40,000 range. Um, so obviously this is ramping up really, really fast. Um, obviously going much faster than your, your 60 frames per second. Um, of course, I don't have the event handler, so I can't close this or anything. So I'm just going to come up here and stop. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of what's happening. Our program is running way too fast. And the, the negative effects of that would be if would be if I had input, say I hit the left arrow to move my guy left. Well, if I process that left input uh, every second, you know, uh, that would just fly off the screen. Um, it would go, you know, way too fast. And so what I what I need to do instead is slow it down, uh, so that I know the game will run at the same speed for everybody's computer. Everyone will have the same experience no matter what. Uh, an industry standard that that speed is 60 frames per second. So knowing the industry standard is going to be 60 frames per second, what I want to do here is I'm going to create a new variable. I'm just going to call it FPS equals 60. So that'll be our, our frames per second. Um, and then we are going to include a new variable uh, type, one you haven't seen before. Uh, we've seen our Allegro event queue for creating events. Now I'm going to do Allegro timer and the type is going to be uh, or the type is like where timer is a pointer equals no so what we're doing is we're going to create a timer and the timer is going to let us know a set interval of time consistently all right so i have just told it there that we're going to create a variable named timer and then right down here we're going to uh 
we're going to do something with that. So I'm going to do timer equals al create timer. And what we're going to say, say we want uh, we want our, our program to run at 60 frames per second, which means it has to run 60 times every second. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put 1 to represent 1 second, because we, we want speed in seconds. Um, and then we're going to divide that just by FPS. So 1 divided by 60 will give us the interval we need uh, for our timer to fire off so we get 60 frames per second. And the cool thing about doing it this way is that if I ever want to change my frames per second, I can change the variable and uh, it'll, it'll change inside here. Uh, and I don't have to actually modify any of the further code. So now I have my timer, and that's all well and good. So my timer is essentially going to, uh, to raise uh, an event every 1 60th of a second. But that's not good enough. We need to actually catch that event, and we need to do something with that event. So this is going to be familiar to you here. Uh, we are going to use our event queue. And we're going to create our event queue, and then we're going to do... AL register event source, we're registering it to the event queue, and AL get timer event source, that's in timer. Okay, so we're saying that timer is allowed to register events. Um, okay, great, so the last thing we need to do before we get into our game loop here is we need to actually start the timer. Timer's all well and good, but if it's not running, you generally don't want to do any code after starting the timer, but before starting the loop, because that'll throw the sync of your game off. Um, in reality, the the impact would probably be negligible, but you know why risk it? Why not just do the timer uh, right before your game loop, and and you're good. So what we have here is where where we've created a timer, we've set the timer interval, which is one sixtieth of a second, we've created our event queue. And then we've registered our timer to our event queue. So now coming down in here, I'm going to do Allegro event. It's going to be EV. And then we're going to do AL wait for events, pass in event queue, and EV. Okay, so now we're just going to be waiting for an event. All right. So what's going to happen is this, uh, this program is going to sit here at this until every 1 60th of a second, which means count is only going to get a chance to, uh, to, to uh, iterate every 1 60th of a second. Basically, what that means for us is that our game loop now runs at exactly 60 frames per second. Now I'm going to run this here, and you'll see by the time I pulled it over to the window, it was less than 100. And I bet you if we counted to 5 from the time that this thing started up, we would be at 300 after 5 seconds. So we are now running at a consistent 60 frames per second. That allows our, our, our program to, to do a lot of processing in the background uh, without slowing down uh, or, or speeding up uh, the, the frame rate of our game. Uh, keeps it nice and smooth and consistent without a lot of that bumpiness that you can see in a lot of older games. All right. So we effectively have a timed game loop here, uh, which, you know, for all intents and purposes, can be the very, very foundational beginnings of a very primitive game engine. But one thing we do know is that no matter what we do, our game is going to be consistently timed. And that is such a huge step with games. Um, luckily for us, Allegro 5 makes it pretty easy. Now, in our next video, we're going to kind of put everything together. I'm going to have, have inputs, I'm going to have text, uh, and I'm going to kind of put everything together inside of this uh, controlled time game loop so we can really see some of the more important or cool things we can do it.